Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti Rajani, working here as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we are going to see how to create the asset with manual process in Oracle Fusion Fixed Asset Module. So these are the steps to create asset in Oracle Fixed Asset Module. Step number one is to from asset page, you have to go to task list and then from there you have to select the add asset option. Step two, you have to fill the appropriate details by selecting asset book, asset type, category, description, cost, unit, depreciation expenses, location. And then you have to click on next. The step three is you, have, you can review the asset through asset inquiry. Now we will move to our application to see how we can create the asset practically in the application. Click on this navigator. Here, go to fixed asset workbench. Click on asset here. Go to task list. Here, you have to select add asset. Select the asset book. Here, you have to select the asset type. CIP means construction in process. Second is capitalized and third is expense. I am selecting it as capitalized. Here you have to select the category of the asset you are creating. Click on blind search. So these are the categories that are created under this corporate book. Click on OK. Here you have to give the description. Give the cost of your asset. Here you have to select the expense account. That is the depreciation account. You can see here, system is taking it as automatically. Click on OK. Here you have to give the location to track the asset. This field is mandatory. Select the city. I am taking it as this is office building. Click on OK. Now, if you click on submit option, then it is a quick addition to asset. Asset is created within with basic details. So, clicking on submit means quick addition to assets. Now, click on submit. You didn't enter the detailed information about your asset. This is how you can add the asset with basic detail. Now to inquire about this asset, you have to go to asset inquiry workbench. Click on asset inquiry. Here you can see this asset is added with basic details. Now how we can add the asset with the detailed information. Again, go to asset. Go to task list. Again, click on add asset. Again, fill the information. Give the cost here.
Now, when I click on next, here system will allow you to give the detailed information about the asset. Now, click on next. So, this is the page where you can give the detailed information about your asset. In the asset number, here you can give the asset number manually, as the system will automatically give the asset number. So, I am filling it manually. You can give the tag number here, serial number. Here you can see this is the description that we have given in the initial stage. This is the cost and this is in service date. From when you want to put your asset in service, you can give the date here. These are the rest of the details. That is about your fiscal year, category, open period, book, asset type. Here you can give the tag number, serial number, the manufacturer detail, if you have the model number of this asset, you can mention it here. So these are the additional details. Now, here you can give the employee name and employee number. The employee who will look after this asset, you can mention here, say, I'm taking randomly. So this is the employee who will look after this asset. I've mentioned the detail of this employee here. Here you have to give the depreciation expense account, the, the location. In the general tab, you can see, you can give the life and years. Say I'm taking it as 45, depreciation method, salvage value type. Here you have to give the prorate convention, the depreciation method, whether it will charge on daily basis or monthly basis, you can select here. So these are the additional details that you can mention from this page. Here you can give the source line. So in this manner, you can create the asset with additional details. And now I will click on submit. To inquire about this asset, you have to go to asset inquiry tab. You can see here, this is the asset that we have created with additional details. So this is how we can create asset in the Oracle Fusion application manually. Thank you so much for watching the video.